All right, our next hater is hating on one of the hottest celebs around, Kim Kardashian. America has been keeping up with Kim Kardashian on her hit television show for the past several years. The socialite turned reality star has made it cool for buxom beauties everywhere to flaunt their curves. With an expansive media presence, this newlywed has attracted her fair share of smack talk. Before those wedding bells rang, we caught up with Kim and introduced her to one of her haters. All right, we just got to Kim's house. I'm going to go get her. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. You ready? Because you got a hater. You got to meet him. I'm no, nervous, you... but I'm ready to prove this hater wrong. So. All right. Let's go meet your hater. All right. God, so many haters in this world. What's this hater all about? Okay, I'm going to show you right now. Okay, this is your hater, Dina. She thought she was auditioning for a different reality show about pop culture and had no idea you were ever going to see this. Let's take a look at Dina. Kim Kardashian, I hate her ass. That ass is not real. This is real. I don't like what you stand for. I don't like how you out here tanning, how you got the lip injections. It's f***ed up the game for me, OK? I used to have a corner on this market. Damn. Oh, come on. Frankly, the bitch is a thief. She got the fake booty. She's all over the media with our men. Everything about you is fake. You know where all of that got, where it came from. It comes from us. Hello, is anybody in there? You need to stop trying to act like you the first person to ever have a booty, because it ain't true. I hate Kim K. Gosh, I would never say that to someone. I would never feel so threatened by anyone. You're going to set her straight? Yeah, I mean, I would just, I'm such the non-confrontational person, but I feel like if someone just has it all the way wrong, I would just like to meet someone and get them to know the real me. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to get the opportunity right now, because we're going to ambush Dina. So Dina is actually doing yoga right now. She thinks she's part of a yoga training video, and she has no idea what's about to happen. And we're going to surprise her in the middle of the class. Okay. Yeah, we talk for the staff. All right. You ready to go in there and confront your hater? Ah, she's in her yoga class. <laughs> I'm going to go luck. in there. All right. This woman is going to kill me. Go get him. Ah, I hate confrontation. I mean, her rant was crazy. That kind of stuff just, I think, irritates me a little bit when people think that they know so much about you and they have this opinion of you, but they don't really know any of the facts. Left arm to the sky with an angel. Yeah, reach up nice and big. Right this way, Kim. Hi, is Dina here? Hi, gorgeous. Yeah, reach up nice and big. Hold your chest. Hi, is Dina here? Hi, gorgeous. I heard you love me. Can I get a hug, gorgeous? What is this? I came to give you some love. I heard you are my biggest fan. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is crazy. I didn't even think it was real. Like, I'm like, is this a look-alike or what? She's so made up, so glamorous. As I'm looking into her eyes, it's almost like a doll, like a baby doll. It was bizarre. It was weird. <laughs> you all right? This, I'm shocked. Y'all out, y'all outdid yourselves on this one. We need to talk. Yeah, we do. We do. You know, I heard some of the things that were said, and so I would love you to get to know me and, you know, have your opinion at the end of the day. Whatever you feel, I'm fine with that. But I would love to just get to know you for a little bit, and then you can make like an informed decision. <laughs> Oh, 
are you? <laughs> they put me on the spot right now. I'm good. You are on a show called Hater. <laughs> you were saying some unkind things about my dear friend. I was feeling the rage in that in that rant. I thought you were gonna like knuckle up. I wanted to make sure Kim was gonna be okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if she's serious about talking a little bit and That's I don't cool. care, you hate me at the end, I don't care, but but get to know me for a little bit. She's not gonna listen to me. I mean, come on, at the end of the day, well, she's Kim Kardashian. She's just gonna keep doing whatever it is that she does. Well, she took the time to come here and I know she had some ideas about maybe how to resolve this. I heard you paint and you're an artist, and that's something that I've never done before, so I thought maybe we can go to a local studio and hang out for a little bit and you can you know, make your own opinions. All right, if, if that's what you want to do. Cool, ladies. All right, girl. <laughs> it's time for real talk, okay? I think it's commendable that she came in and she faces me, especially given the things that I said about her. But I'm still, you know, I'm not sure. Like, is she really going to listen to me? Is she going to hear? the concerns. Definitely there's a few of us who feel like, you know, come on, she's, she's still in our shine. Okay. The point is when when the black guys are like, oh, this Kim Kardashian, who's this Kim Kardashian? Wow, she's got a fat ass, whatever. You know, and it's, it's like, but wait a minute, wait, wait, I thought we had a corner on that. That's us, that's who we are. But I'm Armenian, so that's a part of my culture. If you look at my aunts and my cousins and my sisters and everyone, we have that curvy body too. It's not just an African-American thing. I don't see it on so, them, I see it on you, you got it. It hurts me to hear some of the things that you say. I just feel like I, one billion percent rep my Armenian community and who I date and just because you might have seen a few people that have been high profile that have been you know black I don't feel like it's really my responsibility to go and now completely rep his culture when I don't know a lot about it so I so feel like all I'm, these black men you're gonna tell me girl you got my keep responsibility it. Keep it is real to with do, me real quick please, just, please. but I am I don't Hold get on, why you me. keep on rolling your eyes when I'm I, I'm not black. I so know you're not black, I'm but you're going to tell me that bring you're dating to all my these culture. guys, right? And you don't know anything about our culture? I never said that. I mean, maybe it's just like my personality. I feel like you can date whoever you want, and that wouldn't matter to me. What if someone was judging you off of, because if Armenian girls are really curvy and you dated Armenian guys, it would be the same thing, and I could say the same thing, but I wouldn't. It's not the same thing. Why isn't that the same thing? Because I did, just because... Let me finish, okay? You are Kim Kardashian, and you're going to do, you know, what's good for you. And I get it. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little jealous. I'm like, gosh, this woman, you know, she comes out of nowhere, and this... People have given me for my shape since I was young, you know, and it's hard dealing with that sometimes, you know. So I think you and Beyonce have kind of opened up that world for people like us who have those voluptuous shapes, I'll acknowledge that I feel a certain sense of jealousy. When you see Kim and her family benefiting on a grand level, making six million dollars a year, kudos to them. Of course I'm jealous. Love the style, girl. We love the style. What in the community would you expect me to give back to? I think one of your issues of we don't showcase things on the show that would give back to the black community. If you'd seen the show, then you would know that we actually did. Because you didn't hear about, you know, New Orleans or building the homes or meeting this family. Or we're filming in Africa this season. I've been to Africa three times. You and know? I think therein lies the problem, you know. Um, the negative things that we see just in the general media, because I don't watch the show, the stuff that's emphasized comes through louder. I was really surprised to hear about the work she's done in Africa and New Orleans. Um, I'm not a fan, of course, so I don't really follow, follow her. You kind of just see what you see. She's everywhere. And I was just shocked to know that she's done some great things. All right, so tell me about your dating life. Do you have a boyfriend? Are you married? Now you're going to um, embarrass me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever it's dated a white guy? Yeah, I have. 
the really? love of my life actually was a white guy, but I made some decisions recently to really focus on finding a black man. You know so what, what I mean? if you fell in love with a guy that was Asian and it had everything that you were looking for, but he just wasn't the same skin color? I would marry him, I guess, because I want to be happy. Talking to her right there and creating was an awesome experience because um, there were a lot of different things that we, we were actually able to connect on. I just think you have to be open-minded no matter what, you know, and not judge. It's so much easier. So we spent some time together. So has it changed your, you know, idea at all? Um, I wouldn't say it completely changed because I still would like to see you do some more to, you know, publicize the work that you're doing. You mentioned you went to Africa three times. You know, why aren't they promoting that? But you are a brave woman with some of the <laughs> that I said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and I'm going to look at you differently. So opening yourself up to listening to me, really hearing me, I, you've earned my respect today. You have. Thank you. Yeah. This experience humbled me. You know, I like to talk a lot of <laughs> But at the end of the day, she's a woman, I'm a woman. You know, we have similarities in, you know, our shapes. As we were creating the work, we were also creating a connection. After this, I'd hope you're not still a hater, but you can answer that for yourself. I'm not a hater. I'm not going to say I'm going to be a huge fan and start watching your show every day, but I definitely have a lot of respect for you, and it's not just about the show. It's not just about this beautiful, glamorous person. You have a heart. I get it. Thank you, and definitely when opportunities come about where we can showcase other things that are important to you, I mean, I definitely agree that it's important as well, so. Now I like you. <laughs> <laughs> now I like you. I can't wait to see it. Do your thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next time on Hater. Maxim is in the category of worthless celebrities. He's an arrogant jerk and he's cocky. I hate cocky guys. What kind of man do you think I am? Cocky, flashy. It's all great qualities. You're an ass. Dance star Maxim Schmerkowski runs into an unwilling dance partner. So you've never killed anyone, have you? I don't know. What does the internet say? Will he cha cha his way into her heart? In this environment, <laughs> you don't put me down. Or will he justify her hate? You're cocky and you're a jerk. Are you out of your mind? Then, get out of here, Miz! WWE superstar The Miz receives a surprise SmackDown. You want to say something? Say something! Say it! But wasn't ready for the Rumble. Oh my God! Go, guys, guys, go! No.